Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today you can join me, if you want, to an overnighter in the woods. We had a really, really hot day. 38 degrees in the shutter. So everywhere outside of the forest it is so hot. Because of this my plan is going tonight, for this night, in the forest for an overnight uh, had a delicious food from the campfire. I will show you a lot of edible plants and medicine plants and had a great time here outside. If you want, you can come with me. This plant here is the wild carrot and you know this plant because here in the flower is a black point. In German we call it not carrot, we call it Möhre and the, the word Moor means a black human and this is the, a black point. So it is a little bit resist. It is a very old word. Um, and the black point is um, that other insect think, ah, oh, there is sitting an insect at this flower. This is a good flower. There is um, much, um, much um, nectar, we call it, um, to eat. Because of this, black point in the middle of the flower, um, the name Wilde Möhre came from. And in the first year the plant had only the leaves and um, you can eat it, it tastes very well. And in the second year it is also growing and then the flower came. And this is a little bit silly because um, you, this black point here is a mark. With this black point you know it is correct to a wild carrot and in the first year you don't see it exactly if it is right or not. In Bavarian we had a second word, we don't call it Möhre, we call it Gelbe Rübe. I think the wild mint knows the most of you, but not many people know this plant. It is the St. Jones word. We call it Johanniskraut. And this is a very beautiful medicine plant. It helps against tension if you make an, an oil out of it. And you can dry the flowers because it helps against a uh, little depression. You can dry it and drink it mostly in the winter times where everyone is a little bit sick and depression. But if you had massive depression you should go to the doctor. If it is just a little bit sometimes maybe the St. John's plant help. Oh, sad. As I see this tree far away, I think now I had some sweets to eat. This is the Cornell cherry, a wild kind of cherry. And the fruits are a little bit sour. Um, at least a um, short time before they were bad, they taste very sweet. Only if they were very dark red. But I think I had to wait a few weeks till I can eat them. This is the bellflower, Glockenblume. You know, the name came from the form of a bell, a church bell. Everyone knows that the hop 
is on part of beer brewery but not many people know that you can eat the, the leaves and also the flowers from which the beer is making. It is all edible and it is um, when you drink a tea out of it, it bring you to calm down. It is a very good tea for the evening hours if you doesn't sleep well. I hate it when the mosquitoes fly into my eyes or if I um, breathe them in. Uh. Every time when I am in the nature, I found some gifts from the nature and this makes me always happy. I always take them with me. This here is from the bird, we call it Moise Bussard. I don't know how to translate in English. This is a um, big bird that is catching mouses. I love it when such spiders web are catching the sun, the sun shines. This one is a little bit chaotic, but when you see a perfect symmetric spider's web between the trees and the sun is inside, it looks so beautiful. And also in the autumn when the water drops are inside of the spider's web in the morning looks so beautiful. At this wonderful piece of earth I want to stay overnight. It is so peaceful here, wonderful. The sun, the water, this old tree around me, perfect. There are only two bad things at this place. The one is that there are some streets of ants. It will not be a good idea to lay me this night directly out of this ant street for both parts. 
And the second is that here is a lot of, I call it, tick grass around. And this is, these are only the places who are um, so that I can sleep well on top. So I had to check my body from time to time that I don't get ticks. Tonight I sleep only under my top. Without sleeping bag I had only the sleeping bag cover, the Guardian. But I think this is enough. The weather is great. Maybe in the evening hours there came some thunderstorm. I don't know, but it will be okay. This is the reason why we called the ants also wood police. Because the ant take every dead insect with them what is on the way. They bring it to their home where they had rooms only with dead insects inside and there they eat then they eat the dead insects from time to time and the, the wood ground is clean. When you see them when they carry insects they are six um, six parts bigger than the body of the ant you you can imagine how strong they they must be this is really amazing I hear close to my camp always the bell of a big dog, maybe the size of a German Shepherd dog. But I don't think that they came to my place because the way here is so uncomfortable. There are fall down so many trees, so I don't think that they came, but I had to watch and be careful. The top is ready. I think it will not rain this night. So it is more a sun protection as a rain protection. Maybe you know it when you are outside, sleeping outside and you wake up in the summer months very early because the sun is shining in your face. It is a nice uh, kind to wake up but I will sleep a little bit longer and the dark color of the top will um, take away a little bit from the sun. Here inside is my dinner. I don't tell you what it is. Uh, let's let you surprise. 
but this is a um, luxus meal I never had before outside. This was so refreshing. I can go the whole year into the deep forest and do their bushcraft, but only in the summertime I can use the water to, to swim, to bath. And why I shouldn't use this? It is so refreshing if you can go into a creek or a lake when you are. Um, when you are, I don't know the right word, when the body is too hot, 
when the weather is too hot. It is refreshing. At Unmarked, I've bought this tool to imitate the voices of the birds. That try it a little bit, but it doesn't work so well. At first I had to try what is possible with this, and then I can try to imitate the different voices of the birds. Listen and then try. It is so nice to watch them. When two came together, they communicate for a short time and uh, one tell the other what they are doing, where is food and if there is any danger around and then they go away. Those little animals are so, um, are so intelligent. I don't know if intelligent is the right word. They had so much brain. Amazing. These little ants are so incredible, so amazing. There are many things where I just can say, wow, why they know this? In the mountains, um, the ants collect the resin from the we call it Zirbe and take those those little parts at the entrance from their I don't know how to say um, their home and every every aunt that came inside walk over this resin and so they had um, it is antibacterial, so they ha had no bacteria inside because everyone walks over the resin. And I just can't think, why? Why they know this? It is so amazing. I had to wait a little bit before I can make the fire because it is not dark enough yet. And till the time is come, I collect some firewood and what I make before is make out this piece of wood. It is hazelnut because I want to make a um, uh, camp. And this is not a fresh tree. You see it here. Because I, I tell always don't cut fresh trees um, for such little things or making a shelter just for one night with fresh wood because this is not respect against our nature to cut down living trees for using just a few hours. So I always use that wood or 
sometimes, but only only six months um, fresh wood when I really really need fresh wood maybe if I make an, an um, tool for put my steak over the fire so I don't can use old wood because it will burn I need fresh wood such things then I said it is okay there is no water way no other way to make it but foreign shelter it is not there is no need to use fresh wood when I collect when I had ready collect the firewood I start to curve my comb but maybe it will be tomorrow I don't know how dark it is when I am ready with the firewood. Maybe you see it when I make the firewood that I don't make a um, campfire today, only a hobo fire, because it is summer, it is dry everywhere and it is too dangerous to make a fire in the middle of the woods. And so today I just make a small hobo fire, make the area around so safe as it possible make the fire close to the water, only a small fire, hobo fire, put all the leaves and branches around away, um, grab in the earth, in the ground, that it is so, so safe as it is possible. And when I cooked, I let the fire going out because I don't need it to stay warm. Of course, it will be comfortable if I had the fire in the evening hours, but I don't need it. So, I... Yeah, safety first. Today I cook a luxus meal, something really delicious. I will eat lobster with herb butter and onion lime dressing. Isn't it something special? At first I thought I make the lobster in the pan at the hobo but now I think when I put it directly over the fire I had the taste of the smoke and this would be better. The size is yeah it is a little bit too big but I think it will work so I try it without the pan.
Essen ist fertig. Der Lobster war so delicious. I eat lobster the second time and I love the taste and it is a little bit hard to bite. Not so soft like other sea fruits. And I hope the right word is sea food, fruits because we call everything what is out from the ocean Meeresfrüchte, seafood. Um, and with the topping from the onion and the lime. It is just delici delicious, really great. I've become the small bottle Jack Daniels honey whiskey and I will drink a little bit from it now. Not everything because I never drink alcohol, uh, sometimes a little bit of wine, but this is, this is it. And if I drink it out empty now, the night will not be safe anymore for me because then I hear nothing. Um, just sleep very deep. So I will enjoy it now, but only a little bit. And I had to drink it um, at the next and the next trip. Auf euch, to you. For me it is time to go to bed now. I don't curve today because it is so dark and to curve I need a good light. But I don't want to put my flashlight uh, on so, so much because much light makes... Uh, yeah, with the light people around can see me maybe and I don't want this. So maybe I had time tomorrow. And now I go into the Guardian. At the last time I used it at the Seven Lakes, it was too cold in the night and I was a little bit freezing. But this day it is a little bit warmer. I hope it is enough. And I sleep also without sleeping bag for a long time because I don't want to carry so much equipment with me in the summer times. And I try today without the sleeping bag. The ground here is soft not like my bed but i think it is okay maybe tomorrow all my bones hurt we will see so we see us tomorrow i try to sleep now good night